Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin and Cardano. The sell-off continues. Bitcoin is already below 34k. Um, it's made a new low today and we're going to take a look at the charts. Cardano as well below a dollar again and uh, quite a bit of a sell-off going on again in the crypto market. So we take a look here at Bitcoin. Bitcoin did break out of this bear flag that I showed you in the previous video to the downside. Um, I am still, of course, expecting a move into the wave four here. Uh, but I did tell you in the previous videos that on one hand, we've got a very bearish pattern. Also, I haven't really seen a strong reaction yet. So we haven't really seen a strong move up yet. And um, it remained to be seen what is winning. Do we see that pattern winning, you know, which is basically a bearish flag um, with an ascending um yeah, maybe an ascending wedge, which is then typically breaking to the downside more often than not. Or have we already seen the low here and are already moving into the wave four target area sitting between 39 and a half. And um, I reduced it down, by the way, to uh, 44K based on the previous highs here. Um, now, it seems like, but that's the possibility I mentioned that the wave five here or that wave three hasn't finished quite yet so the sell-off continues um and yeah the possibility exists that it's still not finished but i would be surprised if the bears can push the price lower than around 32 and a half we've got a bit of volume there from previous uh, previous volume and also we had here 32 and a half um was quite a bit of a as you can see here previously it's quite a bit of um an area of trade you know there's quite a bit going on in that area um, so I would be surprised if the bears can really push it lower than 32 and a half in that move down this was not the way for yet um, in my view so this is still to come so we could expect a bit more of a move down maybe another well, a few more percent before we then move up in that way for um, and the reason I say that I'd be surprised if the bears can still push it down lower it's just if we take a look on the daily chart and we take a look on the daily rsi we can see that you know we are we, we are so much oversold typically the bulls need to pull in uh, come in now and push it at least a bit higher that rsi it just points you know with full force down at the moment but in the oversold territory normally you should expect a reaction we're already quite long in that and we can see that the macd is selling off further as well uh, but I did tell you this morning that the MACD on the daily has more scope to move lower. Just look at where we were in May 21. Um, there is much more scope to move lower, but that won't happen all in one go. Um, I think we will see further downside as has pretty much been expected since we broke the 53K level. And since then we've dropped quite a lot. So as you know, I've remained bearish here all the time um, and would now expect shortly a move up a counter reaction here towards that wave four possibly only towards the minimum and that wave four target area i need to recalculate as soon as that wave three is complete because in my view it hasn't completed yet so there might be a bit more downside um this target area was calculated based on right we've seen the low here at around um 34k now we already uh now we came down all the way to 33 and a half now in my view no reason to panic you know i know there's a lot of um uh, fear going on you know bear in mind the fear and greed index is already at i think yesterday it was at 11 uh, I th i'm aware the lowest one that i've seen on the chart was eight could be it was even lower in the past so there is also more scope to further price decreases and more fear in the market but i think we are not too far away hopefully from a bottom nevertheless it can for it falls as long as it falls that's the problem um I was already told that I, I was too bearish up here, but now you can see that um, we are moving down faster, even faster than I expected. And um, yeah, I hope, I sincerely hope we are going to see here a reaction in this target area between 20 and 29K for Bitcoin. After that, I would expect um, very impulsive price increases. And, and that question comes up all the time, you know, wh why do I think it will happen? I just think because in my view, what we've seen here with Bitcoin was a wave one. We come down in a wave two, which is all of this here. ABC will complete the wave two. And after that, you see a wave three. The wave three is typically very strong. I showed you in previous videos also the um, S&P 500 uh, grand super cycle. And it did 
um, many years ago, it did a very, very similar pattern. It pretty much mirrors the current Bitcoin pattern. And after that as well, we went to new all-time highs. Now in the previous video, I also showed you the possibility that we were doing here some sort of a triangle. That is a possibility as well. An A, B, C, D doesn't change much of the imminent price um, prediction. Yeah, um, but that wave C is not allowed to come below wave A. So we shouldn't really come below uh, around the area of around 29K. Otherwise, this um, will be invalidated. Um, but yeah, A, B, C, D, E, you could send C, uh, a wave D to the upside that could also go up to roughly 65K before you see another wave E. But then that wave E should really push us out. That wave E can sometimes overshoot or in this case undershoot waves A and C. So that could be another, that could be an extension then um, of this whole market again. So that you see basically another run up and another run down before you get up. And that area here, that wave E could push us again into this yellow target area. But then we're talking about this to play out throughout all of 2022. Uh, and I know there are many YouTubers who talk about a year long bear market or don't see a recovery uh, in 2022. Well, this is a possible scenario in my view that could happen that we could bounce off here maybe around 29K or even a little bit higher move all the way up here to maybe around, you know, that's just roughly, I haven't really looked at it in detail, but could be maybe around 64, 65K. And then we'll have another sell off, uh, maybe in the second half of 2022, that could push us again into this area between, yeah, around 25K before you then get your final move out. Yeah, that is certainly a possibility. Don't want to um, disregard it. Um, and, and, and yeah, but I would currently stay with my primary view here that we're going down. Um, finish it in an ABC correction and then move up impulsively to new all-time highs. But both scenarios are possible. Nevertheless, both scenarios point towards that we are close here at some point um, to a low. Well, close. I mean, we could drop here in this scenario all the way down to 20K. Um, but still, you know, you see a light at the end of the tunnel and I'm glad that this is taking or going faster than expected because otherwise it could have really dragged on and on and on. Um, looking at Cardano, it has exactly hit obviously that support level that we had on the chart here, that 90 cent, 92 cent support level I had here on the chart. So we did hit that. Um, it's currently again below a dollar. You can see that the dollar itself isn't that relevant actually apparently for Cardano. It's more this support level here, which provided support earlier in the year. We talked about it. Now, if we drop really below that level, we can see lower prices. I did look at the Fibonacci levels again and the wave count for Cardano. I think I have to adjust the target area down here a little bit um, because what I think is now that we've obviously dropped the previous low is a possibility that actually, well, yeah, we you know, we've seen here the wave one here. Uh, this would still be the wave two, but then we've seen again, a similar to Bitcoin, an A, B, C correction. And um, that wave B here did go above the previous high. That's possible. It can go all the way up to 138%. Um, basically, uh, it, it can overshoot by 138% um, in an extreme case, which in this case, I think has happened. Yeah. And now we are in this wave C. So it doesn't really change the ABC view, but it just changes in terms of the higher level uh, wave count. It means we can come down lower and therefore I have to adjust um, this area here where I talked about we could go down, down to around 65K. I have to make you aware, I think it's actually in the region of 55 to um, 30 cents. Did I say K? No, um, I, I did say before around 65 to 68 uh, cents. Now, I think because of the um, elliot wave or the FIPS that are now, uh, because of this is a wave B in my view, yeah, A, B, C, um, I have to go all the way up to the wave one instead of to this wave. This reduces down the possible target level into an area between 30 cents and 55 cents. We are under no, under no circumstances, honestly, we should sell below 30 cents. If you see that happen, that massively, massively will extend the recovery. I mean, we're already seeing here that we're coming down lower than I expected. Um, and uh, this is the next target area. You know, it, it, it just is because we didn't really see, well, we did see a quite strong reaction 
to the initial target area that I had on the chart. But because of Bitcoin sell-off, we're just going to go lower. I think this area should leave us enough space to retrace or to yeah go back into before um, we move up again. But again, we need to have a strong reaction in this area. Now, to be honest, I now expect the price if we drop below that 90 cent level, we could still hold here. Yeah, we could still we're actually holding um, at 98. And you can see on the chart, this is basically with a new wave count. This is giving us here a 97 cent uh, level It's the 0.618 FIB level, the most relevant one, which is why we are currently holding above that, I guess. So it doesn't mean we need to come lower, but it means we need to hold that level. If we break that, then you're going to see here the 55 cent Cardano. Um, yeah, that's uh, probably not good news, but you know, on this channel, I try to be realistic, always try to give you the updates. Um, my initial target area just wasn't bearish enough. Um, it was for many cryptos, um, here for ADA it wasn't, but um, yeah, that's just how it is. You know, we have to, sometimes you just have to wait and see how the price is reacting to certain target levels before you can adjust it. And at the moment, we can see we're just going lower here. And Bitcoin, in my view, hasn't finished off its sell-off. That is why I would expect here for Cardano also primarily lower prices and these would be amazing discounts um personally i would use this uh, to buy a lot of ada myself that area down there and um yeah there's a lot of questions about you know should i really start to dollar cost average in and again that's all up to you if you want a dollar cost average in that's up to you i have posted my buy and sell orders on discord i did start to dollar cost average in because there is never a guarantee that we're really going to drop lower um oftentimes it's just mindset these prices at the moment in my view in the long run, even in the medium run, they will be very, very attractive, amazing prices, but I would never put everything in in one go. I dollar cost average in and out, by the way. So um, these are attractive prices and there will be another wave up. Even if someone started to dollar cost average in at 40K Bitcoin, for example, as I did just below 40K, if we even if we move up in this ABCDE scenario for Bitcoin and we move up to 55, 65K, that would be a nice profit already, right? Um, but yeah, for altcoins, I think then we are going to talk about another um, much more, obviously, much more price increases, much higher prices. So yeah, that's where we are with Bitcoin and Cardano. I'll keep you updated. Um, it seems like Bitcoin currently found support at 33 and a half. And uh, yeah, I would imminently expect here a move or shortly expect to move up um, into that wave four. It also you know, it depends on when the USA open, um, the US markets and what the S&P 500 is doing. I briefly checked my S&P 500 chart. I think there could be a bit more downside before we find support there. But then we should also move up uh, with the S&P 500. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the update. If you like the content, please smash the like button, subscribe. And if you really like the content, maybe consider to join as a channel member. You can find a link in the description that points you towards my website. There you can join and then you can join Discord, Telegram and a weekly live stream. And there's lots of additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.